tonight I watched Rama Burstein's Fill the Void. Um, it's from Israel. It came out uh, in 2012 in festivals, 2013 in release in America. Um, and I meant to see it when it came out because I remember seeing the trailer at the theater that I worked at at the time. But I somehow never made it to the movie and then it was one of those movies that was there for like a week and then it was gone and I was like, shit. Um, but it's on Star's Play. So that's where I watched it. And it's about, um, it's a Hasidic Jewish community in Israel. Um, no, not Hasidic, Haredi, which is the same thing. I don't know. Haredi, which is a similar, I'm not really sure. Um, but according to Wikipedia, Haredi, Jewish community in Israel and um, the lead girl, Shira, her older sister dies in childbirth, um, leaving her brother-in-law a widow. And this is a community where they do arranged marriages. And in the middle of this, she was about to get engaged, but then her father puts it off and puts it off. And then suddenly her engagement has disappeared. Um, and her brother-in-law is about to remarry and move to Belgium because that's what they do. They, you know, continually get married. Um, and so the mother, her mother has this idea that he should marry her, even though, you know, she's the sister of the dead wife and I don't, it's, parts of it are a little creepy where you're like, mm, but it's, it's also like really romantic at the same time, but with like no kissing, it's a lot of sexual tension. Um, somehow making arranged marriages super erotic. Uh, but it, it's another one where it's sort of. It was interesting to look get a look at a culture that I'm not a part of and don't know much about. Um, but I'm also <laughs> super glad that my entire life does not revolve around being married. Um, I mean, there are times where I'm like, oh, I'm alone, I'm going to die, and no one's going to find me for days. And then there's times where I'm like, yeah, I was alone, this is great. Um, and, and I haven't felt much pressure in life to be married so that's you know I'm grateful for that I guess um the lead guy in this is like super hot like super hot I kept staring at him and I was like you need to kiss right now and they never kiss spoiler alert never kiss and I was really angry when it ended and they still didn't kiss um I don't know I thought this was delightful I read a few people on movie but uh, like I've said movie is the worst place in the world that thought it was not well shot and I was like I thought it was really interestingly shot I, I liked the framing a lot actually and I liked the lighting a lot so whatever stupid guys on movie um dude and one guy who was like it doesn't follow the hero's journey fuck you not all movies have to follow the hero's fucking journey okay dude also he should read that dude um, there's a really great book called The Virgin's Promise, and it's, like, a similar sort of journey belt thing, but, like, with specifically female story archetypes. And it's really interesting, and a lot of films follow that, not the hero's journey, because the hero's journey, by default, is about men and based on male journeys, and it's a load of bullshit. Not a load of bullshit, but not every story has to fucking follow it, okay? Dude. Um... So anyways, I really liked this film. It's from 2012. Oh god. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Siren. Uh, written and directed by Rama Burstein uh, from Israel and it's from 2012. It's called Fill the Void and it's on Stars Play and I quite liked it. <laughs>